Mucklick here, and today I help you understand primary colors you learned in kindergarten. Unless you're colorblind, in which case it's time to start memorizing shapes, buckaroo. Now let's get to the point. This is Veiled Guardian, and on the way to it, you'll run into its three Veiled Bros, which are kind enough to try to teach your crayon-eating raid members how to do the mechanics one at a time. Red Guy has Red Mechanic, and summons Red Orbs, which are made of pain. Root them, knock them away, or kite away from them whenever they get close. Be prepared to scream at your Firebrands and Reapers for pulling them on top of the raid as they continue their brain-dead rotations with no thoughts as to the consequences of their actions. Red is immune to power damage. Bring at least some condition damage in your raid. Blue guy has green mechanic because someone at ArenaNet has a sense of humor. Green circle on the ground that will do massive damage to the raid unless four people stand in it. Stand in them if it is convenient or just prepare to hit your heal keys right after the nuke goes off if you can't reach it in time. Most raids simply heal through this. Blue guy needs boon removal when he goes invincible like all balanced blue classes in this game often do. Green Guy has blue mechanics, summons blue circles under raid members, you can crank effects volume to hear them, and the edge of the screen will glow yellow. Get out of the blue circle or get teleported cross country. If you are colorblind, small circle bad. All three of them have to be interrupted at 1% health in order to die. When you pull Veil Guardian, anyone not standing on the giant stone pizza instantly dies. Veil Guardian has all three of those skills. Fight him until 66% while avoiding reds, blues, and standing in or healing through greens. At 66%, he splits into the three Veil Burrows. Condi damage people go to the red, everyone else to blue. Have one person go tickle green, he hates that, and run him back to blue. The non-Condi raiders kill both of those. When your side is done, wait on the other. Do not run across to the opposite side after killing yours or it will hurt you. After 66%, one slice of this made-to-scale American personal pan pizza will get sp Fight near a crack so that you can change slices if you need to. Occasionally, the boss needs to be interrupted while he farts out embarrassingly low damage. Remember, if your damage is low, one in five men suffer from performance issues. You aren't alone. At 33%, he splits again. Same thing. From 33 to 0, he has a new skill, and that's double the sp slices. For this reason, you can hold him near the middle so it's easier to change slices rapidly. Nothing else changes. The old mechanics simply become more hazardous due to your constant movement. If you're with a group of noobs, a heal scourge is great here because he can shield you before the green bombs go off and pull downstate fail boats out of the spice. Unless the scourge is the fail boat, then you're gonna have a bad time. Now you know how Americans eat their pizza. You're welcome. Click these links.